Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing my May favorites video. This is my first favorites video. Because we've been in lockdown for the past two months or so, I haven't really been trying out a lot of new products or doing a lot of actually doing anything with my life, to be honest. We've just been in lockdown. So today's video is just going to be a generic video about all the things that I have been loving during lockdown. And that includes beauty, skincare, drinks, clothing, TV shows, all of that great stuff. So if you want to find out what those favorites are, then please keep watching. So for skincare, I have been taking a lot of time for my skin during lockdown and putting a lot of effort into really making sure it is coping during the colder months because in South Africa, we have just started winter and in winter, my skin does get a lot more drier and a lot more sensitive and susceptible to rashes. So I have been taking a lot of time to do a mask every third day or so doing my morning and evening skincare routine as well as using products that really moisturize my skin so one that i picked up just before lockdown was the garnier pure active three-in-one charcoal and this is a wash scrub and mask and i have just been using this as a charcoal mask on my face so yeah i've really been liking this product next up if you follow my blog you would have seen that I did a review on the Body Shop's Chamomile Cleansing Butter. And this is just basically a makeup remover. I've been using this for the past month or so and I really, really love it. The scent of this is just divine. And the Body Shop, obviously, um, all their scents are organic and it's nothing perfume. So it is definitely good for your skin. And this, what's great about it is because it is a cleansing butter and it's suitable for all skin types and especially sensitive skin. So this has been really good for my skin and it's also been really moisturizing because of its texture and its ingredients. So if you want to read more about this product, I will leave the link below in the description box to my full review, which is on my blog. In conjunction with that, I have been loving the Bioderma Micellar Water and this is a gold, oldie but a goldie. So after I've used this product to remove my makeup, I go in with a cotton pad and this water just to remove all the makeup oils and any residue that might be left over by this. And this is super gentle, hydrating and very easy and gentle on your skin. So highly recommend a favorite and I think will always be a favorite. Next up in terms of cleansing and if you follow me on Instagram and you follow my blog and you follow me on YouTube, you will know that this is something I cannot shut up about. And it's not like a breakthrough product or something that I feel like has never been done before, but it is something that I didn't expect to be that good, um, especially coming from Sorbet. So a few months, not I think a month or two ago, I found out that they had a skincare range and I decided to pick up the Hydro Cleanser just because I knew we were going into autumn and winter and I know my skin gets a lot drier. So I definitely need all the hydration I can get. And I tried this and I've been using this for the past month and I absolutely love it. There is nothing bad about this product, especially for my skin. So my skin is dry and sensitive and some of the very moisturizing products on the market are a bit harsh for my skin and it still breaks me out and causes rashes but this hasn't and what's great about it is that it's gentle but it also really does a good job in cleaning your skin so i'm definitely going to be repurchasing this and um yeah if you have similar skin to me i'd suggest just giving it a try out and see if you like it and then lastly for the skincare is my nighttime moisturizer. And this is the Himalaya Revitalizing Night Cream. And it's, I think it's the scent, or it's got white lily and tomato in it. And it smells divine. 
It smells, actually, it just smells like a normal face cream. I don't know what that smells like, but you know. And I've been using this every night before I go to sleep because I've noticed that with my previous moisturizer, I would put it on, but then throughout the night, because of the cold air, um, I would wake up and my skin would be quite dry. And if I touched, like, especially my eyelids, on the top of my eyes, if I would touch it or scratch it, my skin would start flaking off. So ever since using this, I've seen an improvement in my skin, especially on my eyelids and underneath my eye, especially in this area here. Um, just in terms of dryness, and it has really revitalized my skin. I'm going to be using it a bit more just to see if my skin does like it in the long term. Um, and I do want to pick up the day cream in this as well, if it does work. But so far, so good. Now on to beauty. Um, I have mentioned this in my Facebook stories before, but this is the Essence lipstick in This Is Me and the color is in 07 Enough and it just looks like this. And it doesn't look like it's been used, but I have used this lipstick non-stop. It's the perfect winter color and I think it suits every single skin tone. I think whether you fair, medium skin toned or dark, this color will show up on your skin and it just gives you that pop, you know? And it almost gives you a makeup look without any much work done. You know, you don't really need to do anything much with this. Um, except put a pop of color on your lips and then you're ready to go. Looking all wintry and got it. Okay, moving on. Next up is nails. And I have been loving the Catrice nail polish and base coat. So this is just a normal base coat. And you put it on just before you put your nail polish on. And it helps to keep your nails strong and keep the nail polish on your finger, on your fingernails a lot longer. So I've been loving this. And what I really like is that there's not a lot of scent to this. And then the nail polish that I've been loving is also from Catrice. And it's in 03 Luminescent Lavender. And it looks just like this. It's like the most beautiful iridescent lavender lavender color and I've got it on my nails now if you can see it is very um, transparent so you have to put at least three coats on your nails for it to show up but what I really like about it is that it's so simple it's so flirty it's so girly and it doesn't peel off that quickly as opposed to color nail polishes and then on to clothing so what have you been wearing during lockdown I have been living in leggings and tights. I mean, I don't, I don't know what it feels like to wear a jean anymore. I don't. And actually, I don't think I fit into my jeans anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't fit into my jeans anymore. But um, moving on, I like these because they don't make me feel fat. <laughs> so these are just two of my leggings, and they are printed. So this one has like a checkish kind of print and this one has like writing on doesn't really say anything in specific but they look like this they super stretchy and then they just go really long to the bottom and they are so so warm if you look inside it's almost got like that woolen material inside and it keeps you warm throughout the day throughout the day and yeah, I have like several pairs of this and I have just been living in these. I do not wear anything else. Nothing else. Super comfy, great for loungewear, great to work. Um, sometimes I do exercise in them because they don't necessarily look like pajamas. They are like these very funky leggings so you can go out in them as well. And then we move on to drinks. So I have my drink here with me. This is the new Apple Crush soda from Sparberry. And I discovered this on my recent shop, which is about two weeks ago. And I bought it and I was like, oh, this is interesting. What does this taste like? So this is apple juice. It literally tastes like apple juice, but in a cold drink form, you know, in a cold drink form, <laughs> in a cold drink form, in a cold drink form. I, I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but yeah. So it's gassy and it's, it tastes like cold drink, but it tastes like apple juice. I don't know. 
can't explain it. Yeah, I, I, can't, I don't know how else to explain it, but I mean, that's, that's what it tastes like. And then lastly is this bad boy. And this is the Delight Gourmet Dairy Free Creamer. And this is just a coffee creamer, but I use it for everything. And it is coconut flavored. It is from Bali. So I don't think you guys are going to be able to get this, but I had to just put it in to my favorites because it is something that I've been loving. And I've been using it for, for months. I've been using it for endless amounts of months. Um, and I use this in my tea, in my coffee. I use this in baking. Sometimes I use it to cook as well because it's not, it's kind of a versatile powder. It's not just a creamer, you know, and it gives almost that like, it, it gives whatever you add to it that creamy texture. So you can literally use this in anything. So I've been using this in everything and I've been loving it. And I simply don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of it. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. And then lastly, TV shows. So I know that every single one of us have watched almost every single series that people have spoken about this lockdown. So my favorite series at the moment is Insecure and I'm on season four. I started watching it in lockdown and I started from season one and I watched it on Showmax up until season three. And then as I finished that, season four started on TV. So I've been watching season four now. Unfortunately, I can't binge watch season four because there are only new shows every Monday on, on um, DSTV. So I'm currently on season four, but I'm loving it. And Issa D, I mean, she's, I think I'm obsessed with this chick. I've literally watched everything that she's been in and all the movies that she's acted in. And now that I'm aware of her, I see her appearing a lot more. And I just, I think she's dope. I think she's like a real solid chick and I really like her. So Insecure is definitely a favorite. Also, there's a new season of Working Moms on Netflix. So I have been binge watching that as well as Dynasty. There's new episodes on Dynasty on Netflix. And then of course, the South African favorite, everyone watched Blood and Water and I loved it. It's the first South African series I think I watched from beginning to end and I was engrossed and gripped from the first episode. So I really did love it. There are a few issues I had with it being South African. I had to critique it. Um, and I did write those down in a full review, which is posted on my blog as well. The link will be in the description box, so make sure you check that out. But other than that, it was a great series. I have no harsh feelings toward it. Looking forward to what season two brings. Okay guys, that brings me to the end of this video. As I mentioned before, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share with some love, share it with your friends, come back for more later, watch the other videos in the description box, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my blog, do, do the thing. Do whatever you need to do to make me happy. I'm just joking. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. It's so cold. I, I don't even know. I'm literally sitting here with my gown over my legs because it's so cold. We are fully into winter and I am petrified of how I'm going to live through this. But this gown is going to keep me warm.